Hello YouTube. In this video, I'm going to talk about Aldous Huxley's short article on the causes of war. So the first point he makes is a philosophical one. Man tends to seek simplistic explanations and singular causes where he ought to take a multifactorial and multidimensional approach to history. This is no different when it comes to the subject of war. From Thomas Carline, who spoke of the power of great men, to Marx, who spoke mostly about material conditions, war cannot be reduced to any single factor. Ecology, economy, politics, social conditions, and culture all play an important role in shaping the actors of war. But these external conditions are distant causes. The proximate cause of war is almost always psychological. There is no division between reason and instinct. There are forces in man's instinctual unconscious that influence him to think in the most heinous manner. From personal experience, I can tell you that violence is woven into our veins. I have personally been overwhelmed by this unconscious desire to kill. But this unconscious desire, when put into the wrong conditions, spirals out of control into the proliferation of war. As Aldous Huxley states, war justifies hatred, hallows violence, sanctifies delight and destruction, baptizes with the sacred name of patriotism all of the antisocial tendencies we have been so carefully trained to repress. In short, war provides us with psychological satisfaction by releasing all of our repressed drives. Huxley continues, War strengthens all the ties that bind the individual to the group and heightens this sense of moral and group solidarity to the pitch of intoxication. Another point. Most of the tasks in our modern world seem dull and pointless. War comes along and dignifies even the dreariest routine with the name of patriotic work. War, moreover, produces a certain simplification in the social structure, and there seems to be no doubt that men are on the whole happier in a simple than in a complicated society. Finally, war begets and justifies all manner of emotional excitement. So these are the psychological causes of warfare. These are the reasons that, you know, violence is seen all over the internet, on TV, in all of those violent movies that we watch. So now that we've diagnosed the problem, how do we go about solving it? Sure, we need to eradicate all of the external conditions causing warfare, but more so, we need internal awareness and tools for seeing deeply into our unconscious nature. Integrating the Jungian shadow is a lifelong task that needs to be taught in colleges across the planet. I don't know how to implement this type of education, but it needs to be done. So I'll leave you guys with that and have a good day. Hi guys, if you're new here, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Have a great day.